Hey everybody, Dave here, Hidden Freedom Investing. The technology sector has been one of the best performing sectors over the last two decades. But having technology sector exposure in a dividend portfolio can be a challenge. In this video, I go over the top six technology dividend paying stocks for your dividend income portfolio. Stocks are not in any particular order. The information expressed in this video is in my opinion and my opinion only. This information is for entertainment purposes only, so please do your own research. So let's get started. Microsoft, founded in 1975 by Bill Gates and Paul Allen, headquartered in Redmond, Washington. This ginormous company has multiple income streams from various business segments. The business segments are productivity and business processes, intelligent cloud, and personal computing. Productivity and business processes include mainstream products like Microsoft Office Suite and LinkedIn networking site. The intelligent cloud segment made up of private, public, and hybrid clouds, which includes MS SQL, Microsoft Server Solutions, GitHub, and Enterprise Services, to name a few. And lastly, the personal computing segment includes such products as the Surface and Xbox gaming consoles. Microsoft, the largest company by market capitalization at the time of this recording at $1.37 trillion. A current dividend yield of 1.09% and a payout ratio of 35.85%. A five-year compounded annual growth rate of 10.45%. Microsoft has 16 years of consecutive dividend growth and has survived one recession. Although the dividend yield is rather low, this company deserves serious consideration for a spot in your dividend portfolio. Apple Computer Company, founded in 1976 by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne, headquartered in Cupertino, California. Apple known for products such as the Macintosh back in the 1980s, iPad, iPhone, MacBook Pro back in the mid-2000s. More recently for products such as Apple Watch, iCloud, Apple Music, and Apple TV. After nearly going bankrupt in the late 1990s, this company turned things around when Steve Jobs returned as the CEO. Apple really accelerated in 2007 with the release of the popular iPhone, which pretty much revolutionized the cell phone industry to this day. The company has been on an upward trajectory ever since. Flip-flopping with Microsoft, Apple has a market cap of $1.357 trillion and a current dividend yield of 1.04%. The payout rate is very low at 26.55% and the five-year compounded annual growth rate is 10.49%. The company did pay a dividend in the 1990s, but it was suspended and it didn't return until 2012. The current consecutive dividend growth is seven years. Just like Microsoft, the dividend yield is low, but the dividend growth rate is on the high end. This company has a lot of room for dividend growth and should be in every dividend portfolio. Go ahead and take a bite out of that apple and taste the sweet dividends. Intel Corporation, founded in 1968 by Gordon Moore and Robert Noyce, headquartered in Santa Clara, California. The world's largest semiconductor chip manufacturer. Intel, most known for the x86 microprocessor made popular by the Pentium processor and the Intel Inside campaign. Did you know that a processor is made up of billions of transistors? A transistor is essentially a switch. Using a process called doping, several layers of transistors are etched into a pure silicone wafer. A process that I got to see firsthand when I was working on an electronics degree in the year 2000. My instructor graduating from UC Berkeley was able to take the entire class to Berkeley Semiconductor Lab for the day. What a fascinating experience that was. At the time, Intel was just getting into Flash, and my instructor said during class one day, just you wait, Flash will be huge and will revolutionize the industry, which will open up so many new possibilities and boy was he right. Intel is well diverse beyond just CPUs. They also make chips for graphics cards, motherboards, network interface cards. Intel manufactures RAM, server hardware, laptops, desktops, and solid state disks or SSDs. Intel with a market cap of $249 billion and a dividend yield of 2.26%. Payout is super low at 27.8% and the five-year compounded annual growth rate is 6.96%. Intel has a dividend growth of six years starting in 2015. Intel's diverse products are proven and well positioned for years to come. Go ahead and let an Intel processor compute all your dividends. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and set that bell notifications for future videos. 
Cisco Systems, founded in 1984 by Leonard Bosak and Sandy Lerner, headquartered in San Jose, California. Yes, yeah, Cisco, the technology company, not the food company. Cisco was an instrumental part of the internet in its early stages at Stanford University. Using adapted code from the blue box developed by William Yeager, which then became Cisco iOS. Although Cisco was not the only player in town, but they were one of the first to commercialize the product with multiple routing protocols to support the backbone of the internet. Cisco iOS was so popular that other brands copied the nomenclature. Cisco made their mark and became the most adapted routing and switching devices out there. Some of their most popular products were the 6500 series switches and the 7200 series routers. In later years, they also moved into servers with their popular UCS blade chassis and server line. The NXOS series of switches such as the 5, 7, and 9K unified switches are popular enterprise products today. Early on, Cisco bought out Linksys, which provided products for home networking. Cisco also bought out the popular VoIP company WebEx and has a vast VoIP phone product line. Did you know that Cisco was derived from San Francisco? It was all lowercase and later changed to uppercase. Did you also know that the Cisco logo is the two towers from the Golden Gate Bridge? Cisco with a market cap of $183 billion and a healthy dividend yield of 3.32%. Payout ratio is just in the middle at 48.19%. A very healthy five-year compounding annual growth rate of 13.27%. With a dividend growth of eight years starting in a streak in 2011. Cisco deserves a spot in the lineup and will likely process all those ones and zeros from device to device as you receive your electronic quarterly dividend payments. Originally named Computing Tabulating Recording Company, or CTR, but was renamed in 1924 to International Business Machines, or IBM. IBM is one of the oldest companies founded in 1911 by Charles Ranlett Flint and Thomas Watson and headquartered in Armark, New York. IBM is known for hardware, middleware, and software. IBM is well known for the dominant mainframe computer platform made popular in the 1960s and 1970s. IBM also holds a record number of patents by any US business. Such patents include automated teller machine, or ATM, floppy disk, hard disk, magnetic strip card, relational database, SQL programming language, UPC barcode, DRAM, to name a few. IBM has a wide range of diverse products today. Such products include ThinkPad, Lenovo, server and storage platforms, and software such as GPFS. IBM is one of the 30 Dow Jones companies and nicknamed Big Blue. A recent acquisition of Red Hat software, a popular Linux distro, which I jokingly call Blue Hat. Did you know that Hal from the movie 2001 Space Odyssey is IBM shifted one letter to the left? If you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend it. IBM with a market cap of $106 billion and a dividend yield of 5.32%. Payout ratio is respectable at 58.8 .8, with a healthy 5-year compound annual growth rate of 8.63%. IBM just raised its dividend in April of 2020 which officially put the company at 25 years consecutive dividend increases, therefore becoming a dividend aristocrat. Let this be an example of why you need to double check information on websites using multiple sources. Adding Big Blue to your portfolio will likely not give you the blues but rather years of safe dividends. Automatic Data Processing, or better known as ADP, was founded in 1949 by Henry Tabb and headquartered in Roslyn, New Jersey. ADP is most known for their human resources management software and services. The company first started out as Automatic Payrolls in 1949 when Henry started the company with his brother. And in 1961, the company changed its name to Automatic Data Processing. The company started out with punch card machines, check printing machines, and mainframes. ADP officially went public in 1961. In 1985, ADP processed approximately 20% of the U.S. workforce. In the 1990s, ADP acquired the Payroll and Human Resources Servicing Company, GSI. In 2017, ADP self-proclaimed to be the largest provider of HR services in North America, Europe, Latin America, and the Pacific Rim, with about one out of every six employees getting a paycheck processed through ADP. Chances are you've worked for a company or will work for a company that paid you through ADP. ADP with a market cap of $61 billion and a dividend yield of 2.52%. Payout ratio of 63.42% and a 5-year compound annual growth rate supersized at 13.22%. ADP with 44 years and consecutive dividend increases is only one of two technology dividend aristocrats. The other being IBM, which just recently became a dividend aristocrat. ADP's dividend streak started in 1974 and they survived four recessions. ADP is well on their way to becoming a dividend king in just a few short years. 
Other stocks to consider, but not mentioned in this video, Oracle, Broadcom, Texas Instruments, and Qualcomm. Please take a moment to slap that like and click that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.